fairgrounds and over the years just kind of created this out of nowhere said you know what it's a long day louisiana derby day let's just bring some different people on the air from behind the scenes and i'm honored and privileged uh, to bring lou hodges on the set with me uh, from rockingham park to washington park and arlington park louisiana downs and the fairgrounds since 1976 he has been the track photographer and lou before that it was your father it's Correct. been a family affair tell us about it well, the family goes back here uh, 75 years and actually even goes back further than that. My grandfather wanted one of his sons to become a jockey, and um, my father wasn't interested. He, he would come to the track and read a book. He liked to eat? He liked to eat. There and, you go. And uh, my Uncle Sammy, though, wanted to be a jockey. Okay. And he was a jockey in the 30s, and then along came Pearl Harbor, and that ended that. He, by the time he got out of the service, he was... He was too heavy. So, you know, my father worked Washington Park and Arlington and a little bit at Hawthorne and some in Canada. Uh, he learned to book for the photography business actually uh, in the Army. He was in the Army Air Corps uh, as a photographer and he did a lot of lab work. Um, those guys back then, they didn't have the modern sophisticated equipment that we have. They had cameras like this with yeah, old speed graphics. Yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, it's great. This, is, this was a camera from the 40s and into the 50s, and they had one shot. You know, we have cameras that shoot 10, 12 frames a second. One shot. You either got it or you don't have it. Yeah. And they were always able to produce great pictures. I, I used to see these guys from the Associated Press, his friends, come out to Arlington for the big races, and they'd set these cameras under the rail. And still shoot one shot with, wow. you know, with a long, long cable release. It was just amazing. And this is a picture. I don't know if you can pick this up. This is a picture that yeah, he did good. at Washington Park on the week leading up to the famous Swaps Nashua match race. And Eddie Arcaro, of course, is on Nashua. And um, in that race, Shoemaker was on Swaps. And I, I still remember this race. I was just a young kid. But... I thought our Carol was the coolest guy you could ever want to meet. Yeah. And he was on Nashua, so I was pulling for Nashua. I saw this here in New Orleans on Dublin Street at my grandparents' house. And everybody in the house wanted swaps except me yeah. because I knew our Carol was cool. And, and he did win it, of course. Yeah, tremendous. We'll take a look at the horses in the paddock. We could talk to Lou and do a couple of podcast episodes with all the memories that he's had over the years. Uh, Lou, let's talk about some of them. What are your, some of your fondest memories, you know, at the racetrack, in photography? We mentioned fairgrounds, Arlington Park, a long history there, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, what are some of your fondest memories? Well, at Arlington, of course, was the first Arlington Million when uh, John Henry just nosed out the Bart. Right. I still, uh, I still think the Bart won. But, but <laughs> Everybody the, down here thought the yeah. Bart won because Eddie Delahousie was on the Bart. Um, that, that's a very fond memory. Uh, that was a very exciting time. Um, and I'd say here, I got to see Rosie, the first female jockey, win the Leading Jockey Award. I got to see Joey Talamo the first apprentice to win it. I'll never forget, day one, he wins the first race. And I said, Joey, you're now leading rider. As a joke, little did I know that he would be leading rider throughout the whole meet yeah. and finish on top. So I got to see some good ones. Eddie, of course, Eddie Delahousie, Randy Romero, Pat Day rode here quite a bit. Um, it was just, it's always been a good, a good place. Uh, a fun place, and, and the hist history behind the fairgrounds makes it special. Now your daughter, Amanda, went to nursing school, right? Right. She works with me, um, which is great. I, I love working with, with Amanda. Yeah she's, yeah, she's awesome. And now you've got your, your granddaughter working with you. I <laughs> saw her out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's doing work. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's now 16, and uh, she's sharp. She's good. What's that like to, you know, you worked with your dad, I'm assuming, before oh, yes. you took over the business. Oh, yeah, What's I worked that? for him with him for several years. Yeah, yeah. and uh, now you've got your daughter and your granddaughter working with you. Jan, who does a great job. Mm -hmm. Kylie Wellington's done some work for you this week, yes. too. Yeah, I got to have Kylie, Kylie come in, and uh, she's, she's uh, 
we worked with her on the computer aspect of the business too, processing her own work on a computer and she's picked it up really fast. Yeah, she's going to join us uh, a little bit later on mm -hmm. during today's simulcast show. What do you want to tell people about the way your industry has evolved? And I know equipment-wise it's evolved a lot over the years, mm -hmm. but I see Winter Circle pictures dating back a long, long time. It's just part of the you know, infrastructure, the right. tradition involved in horse racing. Well, I've always said it's the best cheap uh, marketing of racing there is because these pictures are everywhere and people see them. Um, when I first started shooting with my father when I was just a kid, everything was black and white. And then color was like this huge revolution in racetrack photography. And then I'd heard for years, someday we're going to be taking pictures and doing all the processing on a computer and we'll send the pictures to a printer and they'll, out they'll come. And I thought, oh, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> and then, and then, it, then it happened. Uh, now the digital age. The digital age has changed everything. Yeah. It's changed everything. You know, we shoot the pictures of the first race and 30 minutes later, we have the prints. Yeah. You know. I asked you some of your favorite memories. Do you have a favorite photo that you've taken or a couple of favorite photos you'd like to um, you know, tell us about? Well, there's one, of course, the, 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 the picture I shot of the first Arlington Million, but also... I took a picture of the finish um, of the New Orleans Handicap when it was won by Eddie Delahousie. Okay. And uh, that was a letter to Harry. And a letter to Harry, uh, I don't know how many people here still remember that horse, but it was a favorite. And it was owned by a man who was a longtime racetracker, Mr. Salmon, and um, he served on our board of directors for a while. Now we talk about the community here at Fairgrounds, and you get to meet a lot of people taking their pictures, uh, trophy presentations, selling the pictures. Uh, New Orleans is like no other place. Yeah. It's like a small town. It really is. Good point. And uh, there's just so many aspects. You know, pe people come in and, yeah, I knew your father. <laughs> and I was in this picture 25 years ago, and I'll never forget it. And, and it's, people come up to me at the finish line, they say all the time, how long have you been here? And I say, well, <laughs> almost 50 years now. And they go, yeah, I, when I was a little kid, I used to come out here and you were here. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you and I met at the very beginning of my career when I was just a young pup at Rockingham Park, Lynn Snearson. We had the pleasure of working with Lynn Snearson, who I still think is one of the giants of, yes. of this industry. Yeah, no doubt. I had an amazing summer at Rockingham Park that uh, year. One of the racetracks has kind of fallen by the wayside, and you've seen a few of those over the years. Yeah, that was a real shame uh, about Rockingham Park. Um, you know, there is a Rockingham Facebook group, and they, they show, they put up all these old pictures of Rockingham, and that's history they can't get back. And we're not, we're not going to let that happen here. Been through some fires, too. You've... Uh, Seen it pretty much all in a lot of yep. different places, Lou. So glad you're able to join us. Um, wish Hodges Photography all the best into the future. Uh, a family affair, mm -hmm. and thanks again. 25 years, you can interview Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm looking very forward to that. But hopefully, I'm one of the fans in the grandstand <laughs> by then. Lou Hodges, everybody. Thank you. A legendary photographer. His entire family, his dad before him, here at Fairgrounds. Thank <laughs> you.